The late Jurassic Morrison Formation in the southwestern United States is famous for the fossils of the large dinosaurs it contains. These include fossils of more household names than perhaps any other fossil formation, including Stegosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Allosaurus. But these dinosaurs lived along many other, less famous reptiles. Among these was the small Fruticamsa. Fruticamsa was not a dinosaur, but a crocodilomorph, part of the same group that includes crocodiles. But instead of being tied to the water like its distant cousins, Fruticamsa was a fully terrestrial creature. While none of the known Fruticamsa skeletons are complete, between them most of the body is known. Fruticamsa was about a meter long, roughly the size of a cat. Because of this, it is sometimes called the house cat of the Jurassic. Among modern crocodilians, Fruticamsa's skull was closest to those of Cayman in the Paleosuchus genus. However, Fruticamsa's snout was much shorter, likely since it was not adapted for hunting fish. Its skull was also not as flat as modern crocodilians. As typical of most terrestrial crocodilomorphs, Fruticamsa's legs were also much longer and slimmer than those of crocodilians, which would have allowed it to traverse quickly on land. It also had two rows of bony osteoderms on its back, which were thinner than in crocodilians, perhaps to save weight. This would have helped Fruticamsia run away from predators such as Tani Calagrius. Fruticamsia's speed would also have aided it in chasing down prey itself, if it was a predator. Whether this was the case is currently a mystery, as Fruticamsia's teeth are quite odd. Most of the carnivorous land crocs had recurved, serrated teeth. In contrast, most of Fruticamsia's teeth were straight, and some, perhaps all, did not have any serrations. Behind a pair of long, canine-like teeth, the teeth had flat tops with grooves. Exactly what it was eating with these teeth is unclear. No modern analog has been cited as a point of comparison, though for now it is presumed that Fruticamsia was a carnivore, as that was the most common diet of other land crocs. Though other diets, including herbivory, are known to have evolved in other members of Crocodilia morpha. Whatever it ate, Fruticamsia had large eyes, so it may have been nocturnal. Fruticamsa was part of the crocodilomorph clade Shardagosuchidae. Like Fruticamsa, other Shardagosuchids were small, with the cat sized Fruticamsa actually being the largest Shardagosuchid. The North American Fruticamsa is also the only Shardagosuchid found outside of Asia. While they may have looked like the early members of Crocodilomorpha, Shardagosuchids were actually more closely related to the advanced branch called Mesoeocrocodilia. Mesoeocrocodilia is a clade of crocodilomorphs that contains both Neosuchia, which includes modern crocodilians, and Nodosuchia, which contained a diverse array of terrestrial species. So while Fruticamsa and the rest of Stratagosuchidae may seem like a small footnote in the evolutionary history of Crocodiliomorpha, they actually represent an important stage in Crocodiliomorph evolution. The fossils of Fruticamsa were first found in 1975 at the Fruita Paleontological Area, which is part of the larger Morrison Formation. The Fruita Paleontological Area is the same place the fossils of the dinosaurs Brachiosaurus and Fruitidens were first found. The name Fruitichamsa has been informally used since the 1980s, but it didn't become official until the first formal description of the fossils in 2011 by James Clark. Its full binomial name, Fruitichamsa callisoni, means Callison's Fruita Crocodile, after George Callison, who led many of the expeditions that found Fruitichamsa's fossils. James Clark himself is the namesake of a different crocodilomorph, the Nodosuchian Simosuchus clarki. As only the initial description of Fruticamsa has been completed, there is still a lot of research to be done. Hopefully, it won't be long before even more is discovered about Fruticamsa and its relatives. Thank you for watching, and I thank you to Sawhack Duggan for once again suggesting the topic of this video. I hope both you and everyone else enjoyed it. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.